Here I am in northeastern Vermont looking over at a small portion of the Lowell Mountains. These mountains are slated possibly for development of windmill generated electricity. These are majestic mountains here in Vermont. It's just a small part. I can't get the scope with where I'm located of the whole range by any means, but they want to take off the top of these mountains, flatten them, to put these giant windmills on top to generate electricity. Now I thought Vermonters were a liberal-minded people, and it's a liberal state supposedly, at least in theory. But yet they want to destroy the ecology here, take off the tops of these mountains that can never be replaced, placed here by either nature or God, depending on what you believe. And um, if they're going to do this, I want, I think the people of Vermont should know who's going to profit from this. Don't you think there should be open accounting for the people to scrutinize to make sure that the money goes to reduce taxes for the Vermont people? That maybe the electricity should be pumped back into the electrical system for Vermonters where they don't pay for it, they have reduced electrical rates because of this happening. But are a few people interconnected with this going to be the ones to pri privatize it and profit from it? Or even if it's not privatized, who's going to profit from this? Who's going to get the money from this electricity? There should always be open books to this for accounting so the people of Vermont know where that money's going. There shouldn't even be a question about this. The people of Vermont have a right to know. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Now, if somebody's a private landowner and they speculated and bought these mountain region here or bought certain areas of it or if a group has, should they be allowed to profit from this? I think not. I think they should have no profit whatsoever. Maybe they can sell the land to Vermont, but that's it. And I would think that instead of that happening, the state of Vermont would have the right of imminent domain to buy this property from those people directly where they have no connection whatsoever to the windmills and that only the state of Vermont profits from this for the taxpayers of Vermont and for the people of Vermont. And they can reduce the taxpayers rate of tax from this generated electricity from the windmills and they can uh, also reduce their electric rates from the energy derived from the windmills that would be placed on top of these mountains. But it should not go to somebody's private pocket. Nobody should profit from this because eminent domain can take care of that. And I'm all against eminent domain in most circumstances, but you know, you need it for schools and certain re reasons, but uh, here's a case where if you're going to have energy, clean energy, then this is where you take eminent domain and not allow private landowners to say, hey, we got the tops of these hills, now we're going to profit from this. No, that's not right. And what government officials c could possibly profit from this? That's why it has to be on the books. The only private industry that should have a right to profit from this whatsoever would be the people who manufacture the windmills themselves and sell them to the state of Vermont. But once it's sold to the state of Vermont, the state of Vermont should manage windmills. It should not be uh, managed by private companies because then that becomes fishy and it could become corrupt. And I think the Vermont people, the taxpayers of Vermont should frown upon this and be very wary. And what more can I say? That's all, all I can... But I'm very distressed by it. It's just To me it's just uh, this would never happen in Switzerland or other countries and yet Vermont's supposed to be a liberal state. Well I don't know if it is.